Looking for a compact, family-sized, full electric model with zero emissions and the rapid responses characteristic of today's EVs? For some time now, the most affordable option you could consider has been MG's ZS EV, but the original version was let down by its modest drive range. That's been sorted with this smarter revised variant, which remains sensibly priced and well-equipped. If you're buying on a budget, you might rather like it. The ZS EV is powered by a water-cooled lithium-ion battery, which offers a vastly longer driving range than this model's original, rather feeble 44 kilowatt hour battery, which only took the car 163 miles. The entry point to the lineup is these days marked by a 51 kilowatt hour battery, which can take you up to 198 miles. But MG expects that most will want its 72 kilowatt hour long range battery, which can take this car up to 273 miles and that's what we're trying here. At the wheel, instead of the usual gear stick, you select drive from a rotary gear selector, which allows you to switch between three settings for the single speed auto transmission, drive, neutral, and reverse. In front of this is a further control that allows you to switch between three levels of brake energy recovery or turn the recovery system off. There's 154 bhp of power and the 62 mile an hour benchmark is dispatching just 8.2 seconds though there's a rather limited top speed of 108 miles an hour to match that quoted sprint time you'll need to have engaged the most urgent of the three provided drive modes sport the other two are normal and eco the latter giving you a very restricted level of throttle feel though it'll be fine in town in this revised form, the ZS gets a smarter electric-only front end with a stamped effect grille to improve aerodynamics and a revised side-opening charging port. The boulder face is set off by LED headlights and distinctive daytime running lights. It also gets a redesigned rear bumper and smarter wheels. Take a seat up front and you're greeted with a spacious interior, though one with material quality not quite the equal of what you'd find from more established brands. Still, MG has tried hard with faux leather upholstery and a range of 3D shapes, metallic and chrome finishes. There's a decently large 10.1 inch centre dash infotainment display too, with plenty of features, over the air updates and built in navigation that's quick to react. It'll usually display in this split screen format with audio, navigation and Apple CarPlay options easily accessible. Without exception, all of the EV models you can currently buy on the UK market for under £30,000 are considerably smaller than this MG, both inside and out. Careful packaging has positioned the battery pack beneath the car so that it doesn't impinge on either passenger or luggage space. With small crossovers, it's usually on the rear seat that you're reminded of their Super Mini origins, but not in this case. This car is slightly wider and longer than typical small SUVs, and that really pays dividends here. In fact, MG claims that the kind of room on offer in the back of a ZS is much more comparable with the kind of space you'd get from a Qashqai class family hatch-based SUV from the next class up. And there's some truth in that. Let's finish with a look at the boot. Now, as suggested earlier, its 448 litre total capacity is exactly the same as you'd get in a combustion engine ZS, which, to give you some class perspective, is a figure around 60 litres higher than you'd get from most normal compact SUVs. Fold forward the 60-40 split rear bench and the capacity figure rises to 1100 litres. Charging a ZS EV is straightforward thanks to its combined CCS and Type 2 port mounted within the front grille for easy access from either side of the car. Charging status is now readily viewed on the four-stage indicator LEDs inside the charging port. The combination Type 2 and CCS charger provides up to 7 kilowatt fast charging using the onboard AC charger or up to 76 kilowatt DC rapid charging depending on climactic conditions. This means the long range 72 kilowatt hour battery can be charged from 0 to 
in as little as 42 minutes on a 100 kilowatt rapid charger, if you can find one. At home, the car can recharge itself using a standard 7 kilowatt wall box in 10 and a half hours. Quite a bit more than the 6 hour time required for the previous 44 kilowatt hour model. But overnight charging is still just about possible. In emergencies, the car can also be charged via a standard 3 pin plug. If you're wondering just how affordable a family-sized full EV model with decent driving range can be, then MG's delivered the answer here in the form of this improved ZS EV, which remains a typically tightly priced package. Particularly in this 72 kilowatt hour long range form, this car might suit you down to the ground, especially if your motoring is based around short urban runs. It's well equipped, spacious and comes with a notably long seven year transferable warranty to complement a price that looks like a misprint. Is it the best car in the sector? No. Is it the best really affordable model in the class? Absolutely yes. MG has just taken another big step forward.